making the revenant was about man's relationship to the natural world, a world that we collectively felt in 2015 as the hottest year in recorded history. Our production needed to move to the southern tip of this planet just to be able to find snow. Climate change is real. It is happening right now. It is the most urgent threat facing our entire species. Climate change is affecting the magnitude and frequency of extreme weather events around the globe. The past decade has seen record-breaking rates, including the US, Australia, Pakistan, Japan, Germany, the UK and South Korea. In contrast, a tenth of the world's land area now experiences extremely hot and arid summers, compared to only 0.1% between 1951 and 1980. By the end of the century, extreme cyclones are also expected to double, with the possibility of increased rainfall. One of the countries which has become badly affected by climate change is the West African nation, Niger. It is one of five countries in Africa, Asia and the Middle East that has benefited from groundbreaking projects to protect hundreds of thousands of people against the threat of drought and floods before lives are lost. And it's all thanks to a nine and a half million pound funding partnership between Islamic Relief and the UK government. This is our journey into Niger, where we tell the story of its people and their fight against climate change. Niger is one of the poorest countries in the world, with an estimated 48% of the population living below the poverty line. The country's most fragile area, Tilbury, is ranked as one of the poorest regions in the country, with women making up the majority of the most vulnerable and poor rural communities. In a small village 71 miles from the capital of Niamey lives Jamila and her six children. During the dry season, food in the village becomes increasingly scarce and many families like Jamila's are forced to relocate to the city to find work. This is a common situation for many widows and orphans throughout the country. But since Islamic Relief and the UK government teamed up to fund a programme to support her community, Jamila and her children can now stay in their village with a sustainable livelihood. A few miles away in the village of Bokabiri lives Fathi Habibi. Like Jamila, she also has six children. I go out and date I zanka ibo mala. Gags na aki kande se. I kande se hinchin. Hinchin ay mai go ba funai de. I zanka ibo ba funai de. I go date ji. Date ji ma di zukara. I go gags na. I go sabi se mo. Gags na aki kande se. Zamun de ma ki hinchin ay wo. I send ay kulu kal hinchin ay. Nga gitay ba funa. I do To help relieve their struggle, Islamic Relief has provided a special breed of goat to Fathi Habibi, Jamila, and hundreds of other female beneficiaries in Niger. The goats provided reach maturity quickly and are well suited to survive and thrive in the harsh, arid conditions of the country. The goats not only provide families with a steady source of milk and cheese, they also provide an income when the offspring are sold. Women across 10 villages were identified and selected to benefit from the distribution of these goats as an in-kind grant, with a total of 425 goats 
being distributed among 210 women. In addition to the provision of specialised livestock, collective farming schemes are being introduced, bringing communities together to invest in harvesting local produce and contributing to a vital source of food and income. As a part of this collective farming scheme, hundreds of women like Fadi Habibi and Jamila have been trained in vegetable crop production receiving Moringa seeds and vegetable crop seeds to plant, harvest and sell. As a consequence of this project, Jamila and Fadi Habibi have developed the capacity to increase their agricultural output, initiating a cycle where they are able to increase their food intake, build physical strength and work more efficiently. In turn, their agricultural output has increased, and so a self-sustaining cycle is continued. The women and children benefiting from these schemes no longer need to relocate for work as their needs are being met within their own village. children are able to stay within their community and continue with a full education, working towards a brighter future. As one of the hottest and driest places in the world, temperatures in Niger spike to around 50 degrees Celsius in the summer season, which is between March and June. The air is so hot during these months that rain evaporates before it hits the ground. These dry spells combined with inadequate irregular rainfall has a severe effect on crop production, which is a major source of income for many communities in Niger. Due to the arid conditions, extensive irrigation is needed to help crops grow. Doma Zengi and Khadija Bo live in the area of Bokoberi. They are both the only breadwinners for their families, and due to unemployment and a lack of opportunity, they used to struggle to provide just two meals a day. Salaamu Alaikum. I know Dom Zengi Bukuberi. I know Gog Salam. Ganga no goyo bo. Ganga no goyo kang islamik kandirse. Bache foris ganga no goyo bay. Dima chika islamik kandirse. Poreze islamik no kandirse ganga no goyo. In gusis gusis ofansi a kandirse adangirse tasi idia himfani zamwa todini. Farai gog tengwa ringwa rika is bay farai ra. Mkuni rgo gudu bay farai ya. Zankai wo aiwani ano aizuno wane wane aizuno borhinzo mo aiha ma ano. Inirbana. I can in Iban din one name day, Kazanka in Warren Dinda. In his sambu, in it, I say. The same word did he? As I don't know you do, Wally. No, no, you do, quick day, Wally. Nga no in the say. So I tell Subu, I tell Labu, Goro can if a taiga, so you do for it. You go him fine for a ya, two is a mote daily. Is an Kawadi Kokuri go Kadele Gakuma. So if I go to the house, I go to the house. 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 
but through the Islamic Relief Cash for Work scheme, some of the poorest households have been employed to undertake construction and community work. This support allows improvement to the quality of the soil, making agriculture possible, and results in economic growth and security for fragile families whose earning potential has been affected by climate change. Doma Zengi and Khadijabo work with hundreds of other women in the village in disaster risk reduction, aiming to reduce the damage caused by natural hazards like droughts, fostering a culture of disaster prevention rather than reaction. Through the scheme, they have improved soil and water conservation, making agriculture possible and providing their village with food security. The techniques adopted involve the construction of various types of low earth walls called half moons, micro catchments and stone walls. Islamic Relief also employs community members to undertake the recovery of degraded land, establishing woodlots and creating awareness about soil and water resource management. The Cash for Work scheme protects the community from the risk of future natural disasters in addition to providing income. At the mercy of the country's arid conditions and unsustainable practices, crop farmers in Niger usually have to sell their produce as soon as their crops have been harvested. It's a time when prices are at their lowest. To help relieve the struggle of low yields and intensive manual labour, Islamic Relief have provided farmers with donkeys, ploughs, fertiliser and seeds allowing them to rapidly increase their output using sustainable techniques. I name marketing me the same book very. For us our car car say they are not for bobos. I'm what a country for us our man car. I know demo. Can they hear me? Can I have a car church? Did you come on Kirigar have a new day? I get there as a day you can go to my car day. Didn't quite the do my own band and can't get there. And that I'm a kid do I need you know come for us. I can do say. The anger, I need no one that can now do my no go was it go good one of Gum Kalim Quagisimangaza. The Mara Irde Alman is young. Irguma, the Jomo did to Nasadi Kor and Tazodo, Irko Samu Tajizena, Irgu Kakuduma, a Sindanum Kohain Church in Angufo. I knew for Lankano in years a Congo Chalo for Guzuka Chirga, Irguneri say, I know the Dumo. Orantazo de Nafubo Kaka and this Igino Noru Ilm Quake de Almani the Kukurai Kalakal Kalwa the Kanchin Ali to know Rodi Etian was say, Wargudu Agaba Alman for Walinka of Warfam Bankan Kure Nafaidin Kangi de Agum Gumne. I in Tejo Ilgudua Abanda Ilgirinje de Cambuza Abandi Murade go fe do doctor Kwa Koyantun Iguan Hankang in Quesafari. The ma irdu gags in a poro zaga gumo. A te subu, din in tasu than nango ragate, turi gono, kayang iduma, goose goose is a dera. Game of the Akula Almana gave him fine, him or gave him fine. Nango oh. What I do in China? What I do in China? In Kenka, in China, I high. You go enough on day more. Wad in any donan and porozani donan and matki, take chukunda. Amma kagudu kabta din kudumu kitay chasaro hab kuli zangu na gis. Oh, aiwa hai na alafirno. Aishinde kala wonderful. This is good nice. Ai ba funa mataka i waga teda. Ai go farno. Ai go farno. Aishinde boi kul kai gite kala faribi. Amma songo. Irgine kala hamdulillah proja wo kase gine Islamic. Kun baidin, kun kuni ilmakan. Zamu ato kamaga no ligo far yao, yao no ligo far. Halo wai na kanda boraka, kalu boraka halo kulum barame. 
bai gogin for the shini gutu kan ni gafar gase amma hunkuna ba kirmai shin tun gwai da kun bai wa kan gwai sai da farka yawo ne ga kwai gine irga ma akani gumo zamu diri kwai farmo do a girga gashi ne farmo ga har ka soma mu kwai ne gwai kan gari gwai wa son an kan ni sai dogane ban mata an kan ni sai bar mai yan kan nan iri gwai mu dogan zamu zariya da bar gafar eh an kan ni sai dogane iri farmo do hare zam da bar gafar giro ra farhinka ni di kun bai woga bar gihin gafar ta ci far ni gu murad fawo mu te kwai ne kai di amin ba tauro ba kan gwai wa kunni gihin gi tudu dogane so hunkuna iri wuri fulanza fulanza ban bata na faroza wa kan di sai islami ko a kan di sai fulanza ban bata so hunkuna fari mu do hare ni di da bar kwai fari ni hare far ka gi jar da sai duk kai diya gwai wi dan rai haini wi yan wate kai gine haini wi yan dubar tun na haini wi yan wase ni gine bidau yan da kano go kwai fari lakkal ga don ka dai dai ai kwar barowo in no gi jar bidau ai mu mu jar gwai gine foyan irin kwai gi suka korba ci ne har ba ri ka ne wo irin tabi gine ai gwai shi ne gi jar to far ka da gwai banna in no ri gi jeje da kan ni kwara ni di wala a se no irin wo irin maka ni iddu dogane beri kan islamic project islamic ko kan dise proza o so bani samai no rigo irgo gun ware mo no irgin bare ga halli gudu ima proza o minan am gwai gu kwai dise gin Ahmed Jibo and Middle Sani are just two of the hundreds of farmers from 10 villages that islamic relief looks after in the country The donkeys are used to work the land and plow the fields in addition to assisting with transportation. This allows farmers to harvest twice the hectare during the limited rainy season and provides food and income security for when the dry season arrives and crops cannot be grown. Sitting here in uh, the vegetable patch at Boca Berry um, really brings home the impact that disaster risk reduction really has on the lives of these people. You think of it as a lot of independent projects. We're giving donkeys, we're giving warehouses, we're giving seeds. But when you see it all brought together, I think it really has the impact. So you've got to bear in mind we're sitting in 46 degree heat. We're in a landlocked country. There's no water whatsoever apart from one vi one river. and yet we're in a, we're in an oasis and i think what really struck home for me is the fact that many of the women you see behind me 3 or 4 years ago because of climate change they wouldn't be here they wouldn't be making a livelihood um they wouldn't be raising their kids in a village in this lovely environment they'd be working as maids they'd be taking their kids out of school and for 6 months of a year their kids would be having no education and they'd be forced to live in Niamey and i think that's that's what really strikes home is the fact that not only Are you helping the people now? But it's the future generation. It was really quite touching. Everybody we spoke to talked about we can hand down the skills, we can hand down to our grandchildren. It wasn't just children; it was grandchildren. And I think there's a real sense of hope. All surplus crops harvested can be stored using the warrantage warehouse system and sold when prices are high. Under the warrantage warehouse system, farmers, rather than selling at a low price, can deposit their harvest into a warehouse to obtain credit from a credit union or bank. The credit offers farmers a means to engage in income generation activities such as purchasing animals. At a point later in the year, mostly during the lean season when prices are high, farmers are able to redeem their harvest from the warehouse and sell at a substantially higher price. allowing them to repay their loan and make a life changing profit one of the big issues yes. in the region is the lack of rain um islamic relief actually provides special seeds yes yes what 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 difference do those make for the local farmers yeah the difference it makes you know actually what they used to produce are the seeds they have on with them the longer they used to plant seeds that spend 6 to 8 months on field 
nowadays we have we, we have noticed that rainfall patterns are being are going short and short. And so what we did with Islamic relief, we provide them with seeds that grows around tops, three months tops. In three months they are ready to harvest. Then they can go and harvest. That's the difference between the seeds we have and the seeds they, they use to produce local. The local economy here isn't just a cash economy, but one built on exchanging goods. This means that the main currencies are crops and livestock. So projects like this mean that people do not only feed their own families, but also trade with one another. This makes the Warrantage warehouse system a much needed lifeline, especially during the dry season. These projects have been a lifesaver for communities in Niger, who live under the constant threat of drought, helping them to protect themselves against the environmental and economic effects of global warming. But unless more is done to fight climate change on an international level, natural disasters such as droughts are likely to become more frequent. The poorest people in countries like Niger desperately need the international community, politicians and the public to do more to drastically reduce the causes of global warming. Thank you.